I don't know why my energy is so low. I'm exhausted. So I've been back at my place of residence for like, I think ever since Sunday. It's Wednesday now, I think. I would check my phone, but I already put that bitch on Do Not Disturb. I don't need the influence. I feel like my energy is so low because I've given it to everyone and everything. I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> but I've been struggling to recoup all that. Taking these mad naps, man. These middle of the day naps that be hitting me. Those are the things I need, man. That's how I know I'm like lacking sleep. You know when you are lacking sleep and then you refuse it when your body asks for it? I cannot keep doing that to myself. And then the result is me just feeling bad because I'm not doing anything. I'm missing posting schedules. I'm missing doing anything really productive, productive. Like my intentions were to fully hop in to my passions the second all this graduation stuff was done. And to be quite honest, I was way tired before the graduation stuff even started. But the fact that it took so long, like I don't think y'all understand. When I say it took a long time, when did I graduate, man? I graduated on like, was it the 12th of May? Or was it the 14th of May? And now it's like June 8th and I'm still recuperating. Like I feel like I would have been pissed if it was any other period in between, like for summer. I feel like so much of my summer was taken away to uh, do stuff, to make face, to... I spent so much time doing other stuff, but also trying to do stuff for me. I wasted too much energy doing that other stuff that didn't have anything to do with what I wanted to do. Spent so much time in other people's energy. It was, it was gross. I do not plan on doing that. So I'm gonna be trying to take this week in particular to chill out, relax, be breezy, enjoy myself, enjoy this apartment for as long as I'm finna have this for some long. Like, I only got a month left here, so. <laughs> And then I gotta start taking all this stuff down. <laughs> but yes, this is the recovery process from just doing all of that. And I don't think people talk about the amount of energy it takes to keep up with all of that, man. So like, and that's another thing. I feel bad because I'm in the position to just chill out. Like my unemployed ass can just sit here and take middle of the day naps because I can. Now, I wouldn't call it me just being lazy, me just sitting around doing nothing, but to other people it probably looks like that, but listen, listen bro, listen. I don't know, I don't know if you need to hear this from me, if you might need to hear this from your mama, I don't know. I don't know what your situation is, fam, but listen, listen. I've had too many people try to tell me what to do with my life, okay? Like, I don't know why people just feel so comfortable to like let me know in on things that like what to do next, what to do now, like fine. This is me, this is where I start and you, you just, you just watch. That's another thing I need to start letting people do, just watch. Sorry if I'm <laughs> ranting right now, but I'm about it. I'm about it. Letting people watch. I feel like I tell people so much <laughs> about what I'm doing, what I'm finna do, what I'm finna get into. I need to stop that because people are thrown off. First of all. Then second of all, people are jealous. Jealous. <laughs> no, cause let's be honest. Let's let's talk about it for real, for real. Why is that my dreams and aspirations so complicated and colluded for you to even hear from me? Like, I know the risk. I know the risk of not immediately jumping into a nine to five so I can have a comfortable living, so I could live paycheck to paycheck. I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to be that, bro. And if you're not a millionaire right now and you're trying to give me advice on what to do with my life hush bitch hush bro i'm not trying to hear it shut up nobody wants your advice nobody wants your unsolicited advice hush child but i can't do that fam these are family members these are people with i guess honest intentions who hope that i do well in life like actually be solid but like it's getting to the point where i'm questioning who is really on my team who is really on my side because if you're just telling me whatever because you're afraid to do what i'm doing that sounds like a you problem love not 
on me. Not hard. And what's crazy is that if I actually succeed in what I'm doing, then you look stupid. Then you look jealous. Then you look like a hater the whole time. And see, plotting on my downfall does nothing but motivate me, fam. <gasps> you think I'm planned, but I'm really not. Like, just let me be great. Just let me be successful. I'm doing what I'm doing. If you have any animosity towards me, which I don't know why, check that shit up right now. I don't know why. I'm honestly just doing exactly as I want to. Living out my American dream, which was a lie. Stop the cap, it was a lie. And now that we're just now figuring that all out. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna get my money's worth. I'm still gonna go for what I want, cause why not? The worst that could happen is I fail. The worst that could happen is I fail. Not at life, but my attempt to succeed at my actual dream. But what happens when that shit works? What happens when that shit works? And I feel like too many people are gonna be like, oh yes, yeah, guy, I knew you could do this this whole time. Why is that train still coming? I've had to deal with that train this whole lease. Why am I acting surprised now? Anyways, what was I saying? That train took my train of thought, bro. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be people in my life, whether I succeed or fail, there's definitely gonna be people in my life trying to be like, oh yes, God, I knew you could do this the whole time. I'm so proud of you, gang, gang. Like, shut up. I'm gonna need to be so serious with people when I start talking about like my aspirations, my dreams, my careers, my career plans, what I plan to do. And it's weird, man. Some people are like, very lightly pressed about it. Like they'll kind of like support me, but not really like see it. And the goal is not to really like show everybody my vision. Cause not everybody's gonna see that shit. If you could have seen that shit, you would have done that for yourself, bro. Stop it, stop it. If you're jealous, just say that. And does that come off rude and bougie? And, and like I know everything and like I own everything. Okay, but what happens when I do? What happens when I do? <gasps> Cause I'm really trying out here. And the doubt, the hate, it's not helpful. Cause like, what are you really doubting me on? What are you really hating me on? Just either stay in your lane or say what you really mean about it. Cause I'm so confused. I'm gonna start cutting people out of my life left and right. Snip, snip, oh. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. Back it up. You know what I'm saying? Up off my dick. But I think I'm the exact person who would be able to do it. If it was able to be done, I'm the exact person. People are looking to see whether I whether I really, really do this or not. Cause like, this ain't like a once in a lifetime generational thing. It's really about like fully betting on yourself. And I'm willing to bet on me. Like I did, I've made it this far. Haven't I? Haven't I not? I have, so shut up. <laughs> and that's another thing too, like at what point can I just say, get off my dick? At what point can people just stop pressuring me to do things, be things, just like intentionally pushing me towards something else that's like not my decision, not my choices? <sighs> I've graduated, not only high school, but college. I'm at a point now where I'm really jaded that I really went to college. Like, I mean, I got the paper. I got the paper, so don't play me. But also, I got the paper. What else do you want from me? I'm not gonna do that regular ass internship as working for below. Like, I'm not worth $7, fam. I'm not worth $9. You, you hear me? Are you listening? I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do. And I hate that people are gonna take that so personally. Like it literally has nothing to do with you. But so many people around me, around my circle, I'm just gonna have to push through that, fight through that because, and it's not like I don't have a support system. Cause I do. There's people who genuinely are out there who genuinely support me. And I love you. Thank you. But for those of y'all who are just watching to see the show, watching to see what happens, this is the process. This is me telling you exactly what it is. And whether you like love me, hate me, subscribe or not, <laughs> like it, comment, whatever. It's your choice, love. It's your choice. And just like your choice, I got a choice that I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do. It's like, I don't know why. I was waiting for like some sort of lifestyle permission, I guess, to just start being myself. Like, stop trying to tell me what to do with my life. Cause I'm literally, I'm literally finna live my life exactly how I choose, bro. 
And y'all not hear me, y'all not hear me. That's gonna piss so many people off. So many people are gonna feel a type of way. Like, why do you not have a job, Sky? Why aren't you working, Sky? Aren't you gonna need some sort of income? Listen, listen. And here's the key. I do not aspire to be where you are. That's the simplest, like, if you had what I wanted, I'd be, give me your playbook, fam. Tell me what to do. I would have been on that. But you see I'm not. You clearly see I'm on a different way. <laughs> I'm on a different frequency. And I feel like it hurts to really realize that and really say that to people because people do not do not take that well. Like, I don't wanna be like you. Stop trying to tell me what to do. You're not where I want to be. Why would I follow what you say? Why would I copy in your footsteps? Cause you think you're right. You want me to do that to validate you being right. You're not. You're not. Okay, I'm too educated. Beyond just me going to school, school didn't really teach me anything but to finesse. Okay, if anything, it was just about grades. I learned almost nothing. I'm gonna say that again to the people who wanna, who are deciding to go to college right now and wanna put themselves in debt for that type of mess. I learned almost nothing in college. And um, everything else that I did learn was experiential, I guess. Like any useful thing that I've gotten from being here in this environment came from me simply just existing. Not anything that I done paid for from that school's tuition. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. And people won't like me because I'm going to tell it how it is. People won't like me because I'm going to keep it a buck. Look at me in my Negro eyes. I'm going to keep it a buck. Ah, that felt so good to get off my chest. Now, I'm going to show you. I'm going to let you in on what I'm doing. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing no more. None of that. And quit asking me. Cause I'ma give you some bu- <laughs> I'ma give you a bullshit ass answer, bro. And maybe not, depending on who you are, depending on how legitimate your question is. Like, if you're just trying to clown me, take that back to your mama. Take that all the way back to your mama. Go find your mama and bring that back to her. Cause that ain't for me. That ain't for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna let you in on what this looks like, bro. It's nothing but determination, grind, and, and fully betting on yourself. Are you not worth your entire life? Are you not worth the work putting your dreams into making them happen? What happened to making it happen? Why do I have to settle? I'm not one to settle. I'm bougie. I don't know if you could tell. I don't know if you noticed this, but I'm bougie as hell.